This is my 1980 Sears Sea Nymph, 16 foot. And I've always wanted to put a casting platform out on the front of this thing. And uh, I was at Home Depot and I decided just to go for it. And I figured I'd show you guys what I did. I was gonna do wood like most people, but I decided uh, why not make something that's completely rot proof. So I went with aluminum for my framing, one eighth thickness, one and a half inch L bar. Cut, it cuts really easy. Pop riveted everything in. I doubled them up. Doubled up the pieces for here and here. Riveted all that in. Made a few supports that run down here. Made some little brackets that just happened to uh, be scrap left over. Did one little support up here. Eventually I'm going to think about doing some hatches here and here. But I recently got a trolling motor off of Facebook Marketplace. So eventually that's going to go up here. And uh, for the decking, let me show you what I got for the decking. I've already got it cut out, but it's actually PVC. Solid PVC. High performance cellular sheet of PVC. Everything I bought is from Home Depot. Um, this stuff is... I don't know if it's lighter or heavier than, I guess, three quarter inch plywood, but once it's cut up, I mean, it was a little cumbersome with a four by eight sheet by myself, but once it's cut up, it doesn't feel too bad. I already have these pieces cut. Unfortunately, this boat is so wide, it's bigger than four feet, so I end up having to cut to about here, and then I have a little like four inch strip that goes up here that's non-structural, so who cares? But I'm gonna throw that up here and probably get some bolts in it. But I just wanted to show you guys what I did if you wanna do the same thing to your boat. Um, I just got done throwing in 100 plus rivets and uh, my forearm hurts. <laughs> so unless you have a pneumatic riveter, it's pretty tough manually, but it works. These were just little pieces that I cut off of here and I figured I'd fill in the voids up here with those little brackets so everything lays flat once it's done. So I'm gonna throw this up here and we'll see what it looks like. Bada bing. All that room for storage. Now I might close this off eventually. Like I said, put a couple hatches up top here, but I wanna make sure it's good on the water before I do anything else to it. Um, so far, so good. I, I'm gonna bolt it down now, but you can see what I was talking about. I had to cut an extra strip up top here just to fill that in, but which you know wasn't real happy about that. But made my casting platform just bigger than I guess it could have been. But to tie these in here, I sort of had to make it this length. I don't know. And the whole reason why I didn't deck the whole boat is because this is my crabbing boat. It's my fishing boat too, but. I bought this boat for crabbing, and I like crabbing from up here, and I can still do that with somebody operating the motor from the back. So, I guess next is a water test. I don't know when, but I'll see you on the water. Well, we're out here, and I got a nice, the nicest leg model I could find to show off the casting platform. There's our buddy Mark. Nicest legs in the east. So far, so good. I haven't been up there yet, but Billy's been up there. Now Mark's up there. And they said it's not slippery at all. It's actually kind of tacky. So that's what I was hoping for. So that way I don't have to put carpet yeah, on it. said it was a smoother than Brad's butt. Yeah, well, as long as you don't slip around on there. And when I saw the other it's night, holding up. Yeah. And uh, it's ready for the trolley motor because I'm getting tired of pushing us around in the weeds with the paddles. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Um, definitely a little more expensive to go this route, but it is possible and it is doable. And I hope to uh, turn this into a fish killing platform. That's the plan anyway. Thanks for watching.